Why is the world boycotting Puma? Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> All right, guys, so Saturday I was on Twitter and I saw hashtag boycott Puma. Some of you guys may know that Puma and Adidas were founded by brothers. Yeah, that's right. Two German brothers in their mother's basement. A long story short, they had a beef and then they went their separate ways and naturally Adidas did much better. Now out of the two brands, Puma's always been lower down. But that's not the reason why it was trending. What Puma's decided to do is sponsor the Israeli Football Association and the Israeli football teams. I know what you guys are thinking. What's wrong with that? Well a lot of things because the Israeli Football Association is sponsoring teams and matches on illegal settlements in Palestine. So naturally that raised an eyebrow to many people around the globe which I think in this day and age is remarkable considering how half of us are so self-centric and the other half who live in our own little bubble not wanting to ruffle the feathers or say anything against the government in case we don't get picked up. Gone are those times mate. Stuff's happening very clearly nowadays, you know what I mean? Like you just need to switch on the news to hear Trump say We've secured the oil and therefore a small number of US troops will remain in the area where they have the oil and we're going to be protecting it. Back in the days going to war for oil was an embarrassing thing to say. Now they just don't care. But I digress. So 26th of October was marked to be Global Action Day against Puma and you had people from all sorts of countries that were protesting against Puma. You got Amsterdam, Australia, Dublin, Italy, Japan, London and Malaysia. I couldn't find any of the Arab or Asian countries. Maybe because of the time difference the Arab and Asian countries haven't joined in or maybe they are still yet to grow a spine. What really surprised me was Belfast Football Club also joined in as well and we got some footage from the Foot Locker in Manchester and here you can see some Manchester City fans joining in as well. And here was a group called Code Pink in the US. They also joined in. And this was the highlight for me. Somebody printed out loads of posters and stuck them in the tubes in London. This wasn't done officially, so people started getting cheesed off and complaining, and that forced the TFL to say, Guys, it wasn't us, yeah? It, it's vandalism. And the people that you know couldn't join in these things, they started rebranding their own Puma products and started posting them online. Now naturally whenever stuff like this happens, you want to hear the other side. One of the arguments was Unity. Hey Puma you're doing a good job because you've got Jewish and Arab football players playing together. Just because you've got Arab players playing, that doesn't make it okay. Who knows what reason they're playing? Maybe they don't have enough money to put food on the table. And the other cry of course is that of anti-Semitism. But we all know anti-Semitism is unfair criticism against Jews. But many people try force this same rule upon Israel. Similarly criticizing Muslims is Islamophobia, but criticizing Saudi is allowed. In fact this person's claim of anti-Semitism is anti-Semitism. Now this was actually put forward by a movement called the BDS movement but I think it's a very clever way of hitting these companies where it hurts because they let's face it they don't care about morals they care about profit. Now I was looking at a lot of these pictures that were circulating a lot of these people are non-Muslims and this wasn't again picked up by mainstream media because anything that unifies us against oppression it's not something the media is interested in. They're only interested in blaming minority groups and dividing and ruling us. Inshallah it will wake us up to continue doing the same. Whether it's Palestine, the Uyghurs in China, the Rohingya or the Kashmiris amongst others. Yeah, Kurds and so on. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.